Hi, it's Desiree from Mountain Dog Farm and today we are really getting started on preparing for our greenhouse. So the greenhouse won't be here for a little bit. It's shipping here, uh, but we have the mini excavator rented this week. So Troy's doing all the dirt work to prepare for the greenhouse. Then when we get to building, I will kind of show you along the way for that. Um, but today, essentially I just made some rough marks as to where I wanted the greenhouse. Um, he's over digging a little bit so that we have some room to play with as far as um, you know, shifting the corners or whatever needs to be done. But he's digging down just a little bit and then we're going to be doing, um, oh, the dogs are barking out the calf. Um, we're going to be doing hardware cloth underneath to prevent mice, field mice is something that we struggle with here. So hardware cloth, then gravel. Then we will be doing our foundation with um, some wood then we'll fill in essentially raised beds. Here's the before. So greenhouse is gonna start kind of right where this rototiller is. There's a spigot that we need to get working again. Starts right here. And you can kind of see this little orange spot there. And then the cow fence is gonna start right here and go right along here all the way up to the barn up there. Barn is actually other side of the house. But anyways. This. So he's digging me a big flat spot into the ground. show you something look at my teeth okay this is my this is my retainer i've broken it two times i've used dental glue oh baby's crying i've used dental glue to glue it back together but it's just it's never the same after you do that look at this <laughs> oh my gosh it looks so much i'm so happy talk about fall gardening. Now let me just tell you I had a few things against me for this spring and summer garden and I will tell you about them all. So number one I had a baby right at the beginning of planting season end of May I had a baby. I tried to get everything planted beforehand but we had a late frost so a lot died. Um, then I was terrible right off the bat about watering. Then we had a hatch of grasshoppers and grasshoppers decided to eat everything that was growing, um, just completely decimated. And then the last thing that I really had going against me is field mice. Um, the field mice just had a heyday in my raised beds when I had, you know, a bit of a lack of time spent in the garden this year. Um, so I'm going hard when it comes to fall planting. And I have a few things that I'm going to do to try to combat the mice and the grasshoppers. For the mice, I went ahead and grabbed these mole repellers. Now these are like the ultrasonic, you stick them in the ground and they let out the sound. Um, and I read that they work for mice too. They also work for snakes. Snakes are an issue at this new homestead. Um, so this comes with 10. I bought it on Amazon. I'll put, I have six raised beds. So I'm going to put one in each. Um, we'll, we'll see how it does. And then the other thing that I'm doing for the grasshoppers is this um, cloth. Now I have heard from other people around the area that grasshoppers will eat through it. So I'll see. Um, I'm hoping that, so the grasshoppers are kind of in their die off now. They're laying eggs and then they'll soon be dying. So I'm hoping that because we're at the end of the grasshopper season, um, they're not gonna eat through we'll see we'll see but i'm really praying that they won't eat through it so grab those my plan my plan is tonight after all the babies are in bed i'm gonna go out to the garden with the baby monitor i'm gonna pull everything that still needs pulled i'm gonna cut back all of my herbs every all of my perennials i'm going to um drown out any of the mouse holes that are left rake everything up nice i'm gonna plant and i'm gonna cover right away 
I'm going to try to go hard and get it all done tonight because as of today, I have 82 days left in my growing season. Um, and so I went ahead and I ordered some seeds so that all of them would be ready to harvest within that 80 day mark. So I went with things like the green beans, um, carrots, and I'll show you my seed haul. I made an order from Heirlooms Evermore Seed Co., which is a Christian company that I really feel great about voting with my dollar for. Um, I do have a coupon code if you want to use it. Mountain Dog Farm will get you a discount there. Got the crookneck squash. These are 50 days. Some straight eight cucumber. These are 63 days. Some black valentine bush bean. And I mostly did beans because that's what I'm wanting to do. Um, for um, fermentation is a bunch of beans that I can ferment. So these are 49 to 55 days. Um, Copenhagen market cabbage, these are 68 days. Then we have some blue lake bush beans. These are 54 days. Sorry, I'm hurrying, baby. Um, carrots, these are 65 days. Then another squash, and these are 56 days. So this is all that I'm going to be planting in my raised beds. I also feel like I should just start telling you what I'm wearing what I'm wearing and where it came from because I always get asked. This outfit all, actually all came from the Fringe Pineapple. I really love them too. They're a great Christian company. Wide leg pants because we are hip. We're a hip mom. Right, Donna? We have a cool mom. They're actually so comfy, these wide legs are. So I guess at the end of the day, we will see. We'll see how this fall garden goes. Um, like I said, I do have a two month old, how old are you? Nine week old baby. So I don't have all the time in the world, but we're gonna try hard and my greenhouse will be here. Um, I ordered it today, so it'll be delivered soon. And once the greenhouse is here, we'll get it set up and um, hopefully we'll get a late fall harvest out of the greenhouse as well. I, I am gonna put a heater in it. I'm going to see, I am, I'm optimistic about growing through the winter, at least some cold, cold hardy crops because I do know that it will still be quite cold in there. Um, I'm optimistically hopeful <laughs> about the greenhouse in the winter, but I at least intend to get a late fall harvest out of there. So between these, this, plan of attack and the greenhouse. I'm hoping to get some darn vegetables out of my backyard this summer. I'm out here amongst the beautiful sunset and the baby and the chickens. Oops. And the chickens. I wanted to show you these things. I know that they're already working for the mice because I've seen three or four mice now run out from underneath of um, my raised bed. So all these are they put out like a little sound. They look like this, they're solar powered and then you just flick them on. It's just like a little vibration every 20 seconds. It's very loud for the mice and it makes them scurry on out.